Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do What's Cracking reading. I think this is my fourth attempt. Um, it just happens like that. There was a week, uh, about a week ago, where I, I attempted readings like about five times and the readings were just, um, there was just so many messages coming through that I felt really quite overwhelmed and kept restarting and trying to focus just on one storyline. Um, but I feel like there's a lot going on in the universe at the moment and Sometimes you just have to really channel the best information you can and sometimes it's just all over the place. So I'm not sure what's happening. I've got the devil and the tower flying out every time I try to shuffle. So I'm about to switch decks. If I don't get it this time, I'm, I will. Right, but quickly, let's just go through the blurbs. First off, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you to all the people who've supported me along all along. And Thank you for taking the time out to write such beautiful comments. I really enjoy reading them. This Saturday I have an intermediate tarot class going and I still have a couple of places left in that class if you're interested. Um, it is 9 to 12 uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time, which for my understanding is Friday night if you're in the States. So check out your time zones. Um, it's only a very small class and you need to have a basic understanding of tarot. So if you've already been reading for yourself and you do understand the tarot, then that would be the place to go. And for those who keep asking for another beginner's class, I'll be doing one of those in October. The 25th of September, Linda, the Psychic Pinup and I have our platform event. Um, that will be on a Saturday morning as well, similar times, nine to, uh, sorry, 10 till 12 I think for that one um, it is on my Facebook page but if you're having trouble finding the uh, the link to Eventbrite I'll put it up again today but again a few seats left if you're interested in that one um, I now have a booking system on my website where you can book your own readings I only have the basic ones up there so if you're interested in um, getting a reading with me you can now pick your own time slot and organize Zoom does all that for you so it's really good and um, and it was very easy to set up too if anybody needs to do anything Calendly is really really good to set up um, and the competition for last for the 16,000 subscribers I haven't drawn yet and I will apologize even though it was pro probably beyond my control I was a little unwell over the weekend facing some sort of silly thing that comes and goes from time to time so I do apologize for that all right we're going to use a tarot moocher for your reading today but before I do the reading though I just want to give a little shout out to Sonia Herrera her website's called Cosmic Harmony um, she's an amazing reader I know she follows me and I've started following her um, I've been following her on TikTok for a while so please go and check her out cosmic harmony very very beautiful readings she's very in tune with the universe all right let's get into this reading all right so we have the nine of wands coming straight out so the nine of wands is a card that talks about this is often referred to as the card of the wounded warrior it's a card first off that talks about poor boundaries it talks about people trampling your boundaries and now being quite defensive about how you stand up for yourself um, it is a card that says you've been hurt so many times and you can't quite get to the 10 here so you're stuck at the nine energy which for me means you're repeating some sort of pattern here um, it could be a pattern of not setting boundaries for yourself and I feel like sometimes we talk about the physical boundaries like you know saying to someone what you will and you won't put up with but what I've found really as I've sort of grown with my energies the empathy is a boundary you really need to understand because we absorb other people's energies and I feel like that boundary is one of the hardest ones to really see for yourself um, I can never really understand why sometimes I'd be in a really good mood and then within you know 10-15 minutes I'd be really angry and I'd be where did that come from um, and I feel like that's why we have mood swings but anyway we won't get into that discussion um, but you can absorb other people's energy so the boundaries thing very very big it is about repeating a pattern here when you see the nine of wands come up a pattern that you look like you're about to complete though 
So when you've been doing this wounded warrior thing and you've been revisiting something over and over again and you haven't completed a cycle, it can put you in this sort of ten of swords energy. You can have a pattern of negative thinking, of responding in negative ways. You may not understand you're doing that because maybe you're not understanding the pattern here. Um, but you are completing that pattern with the Ten of Swords. You're about to see the truth on something. You all know how much I love the Ace of Swords. I have people say it to me in my personal readings when it comes up. The Ace of Swords for represents, like for me, absolute clarity, really seeing the way. There is something you've seen here which is about to complete something for you and rescue you from this energy. You're going to complete this cycle, you're going to move into the next phase here with that Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Swords tells me you clearly see what you've been doing now. So I feel like somehow or another, something is being shown to you that's going to give you a little bit of a wake up call. And you're gonna go, I know what I've been doing now and I know how to stop or finish it. Okay, there it is, the balance. So, you know, the Temperance card always talks about us having everything in balance. It talks about us achieving a high vibration and being able to ascend with that. So. It's like you've realized something here which is going to put you right in line for your destiny with the Ace of Swords. So, you know, this is getting your emotions in line with your logic, starting to look at things from your objective rather than through your emotions. And I had a lot of people write to me about this because a lot of people sort of understand emotions, feelings, those sort of things as being you know, all the same, but they're not. Your emotions are the reaction in your body. The feelings are how you respond to that reaction. A lot of us have been brought up to believe that everything has to be seen through the emotions. So it becomes very difficult for us to discern, for example, when someone's not being true to us, when we're not doing the right thing, because we tend to sort of sit there with the bleeding hearts going, oh, let's have a look at this, oh, it's not so bad, like that type of thing. So something is being shown to you here and that's the victim mentality. So it's very interesting because we also have the victory card here. So I feel like for many of you, this week is definitely bringing around the closure of some sort of pattern, some sort of cycle that you've been in, possibly that you're not really seeing with that nine of wands. I always think, you know, when it comes up, I feel you've been doing it for a long time and it's been very natural for you and perhaps you haven't been seeing that you're doing it. It could be about setting boundaries for yourself. It could be that you're understanding how to set boundaries for your children. Um, but it often comes in as that sweeping understanding that finally, so, and I've had people say that to me, you know, I didn't even realize what it was, but then this happened and I realized I've done this for so long. It's been a natural thing for me to do. So let's have a look at what's going on. Look at this. So we have the Ace of Pentacles coming through here with the Ace of Swords. So maybe for some of you, this is to do with your money or your financial resources. Maybe you're having some sort of realization about something to do with work, your life path, your career. Maybe you've been slamming it out in a dead end career for a really long time and something's about to give you clarity. I often think with that Ace of Swords, for me, it was about me moving jobs all the time because I got bullied and I couldn't understand why I always worked with people who bullied me. Um, and I feel like sometimes we have this way in society of always thinking the empath is, you know, unblameable or doesn't have any issues or problems. And it took me a long time to understand my own, um, I suppose, fears of standing up for myself against people and really understanding that actually, you know, it was more of my problem than it was of anybody else's. So you can blame the bullies all you like, but at the end of the day, there are things you can learn and you can do to stop that from happening. But I never really saw it. I always was in that victim mentality thinking people just treated me really badly until the day I realized it, until the day I understood boundaries. <laughs> so, Ace of Pentacles coming through. So definitely some sort of new start coming in for you here. But a definite sort of finish or ending to some sort of cycle you've been in. All right, so we have the Emperor coming through with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers card. The Emperor is a card that represents not just the Divine Masculine and the sign of Aries, it represents a person who can be very, uh, they like their control. 
They like to be in control of their environment. They like to um, control others. Um, but not always in a negative way. This person, I always say they've worked their way to the top through their own experiences and through the things they've learned to do. Their own experiences, their own knowledge. This can be a person that you are, you know, it could be a father figure. It could be a person that you, you know, runs a group in your church or um, somebody who has a position of power. But the Seven of Swords sort of sitting next to that makes me wonder if you're not dealing with this person at work or in a relationship. Because we do have the card of the lovers here. And I see this Seven of Swords looking back at the lovers card and heading towards the Emperor here for a brand new start. So let me just pop a couple more cards. We do have the Page of Pentacles coming through with the Death card. This is really interesting energy. We have the Fool. I feel like some of you are realising a boundary within a relationship. Maybe you've never been very good at setting boundaries for yourself in a relationship because we do have the Seven of Swords, which makes me feel here that perhaps you've been trying all the time. This is the card of trying to get away from something, trying to get away with something. So the Seven of Swords can represent, for example, self-sabotage. But what I'm feeling here, it's almost like avoiding conflict. So it's like maybe you, you put yourself in a position where you're always avoiding conflict by not setting boundaries. Um, this is a really interesting reading, actually, um, because I just said that. That's exactly what it feels like to me. So it could be that you have um, understood, understood how to set healthy boundaries for yourself. Because I feel like here, it's giving you a new start. There's some sort of, if you have a look at this energy, there's some sort of death and rebirth here. And the full card sort of takes a leap of faith. And there's some sort of energy here with this gift from the universe and the lover's card that you're being given an opportunity in a situation where you are now able to set healthy boundaries for yourself. There's definitely something that needs to finish here. And I feel like it's got something to do with these boundaries here. Let me just keep going. Ten of Pentacles with the World card. See, I kept, kept getting this closing out of a cycle here. Ten of Cups. You're about to get your Ten of Cups. No doubt about it at all. And not only have you got the Ten of Cups here, you've also got the Ten of Pentacles. So for me, for some of you here, this boundary... Could be around somebody you work with or people you work with where you feel sometimes that you are being bullied, but you've not set good boundaries for yourself. Now, when I see the Seven of Swords, I tell you what, this is really, it, it, for me, this is, it looks as though you're trying to avoid conflict or you try to get away from avoiding conflict. But I know with some people with relationships and work, very often people don't stand up for themselves because they're scared of losing the love for that person or they're scared of losing their job. And they and I hear that. When I say to people, why aren't you standing up for yourself? They're, they will say, because I'm scared of losing my job or because I'm scared this person won't love me anymore. But the thing is, if that is your fear, you're going to perpetuate that. You're going to bring that around. And it's very much this sort of nine of wands energy for me again. So this card's really pertinent for you today. Um, because there's some sort of choice you're making here. And it's almost like you're closing something down that will reopen for you in a much better way. So it's like you're saying goodbye to something, but then you're sort of saying hello to it again. So... Maybe in some way, shape or form, you're realizing that by standing up for yourself in the way you need to, that you're turning around a whole situation here. And you're learning this now through this understanding, this cycle you've been in. So if you're in this situation here where you're feeling that you're in either a relationship, a job or, or a situation where you feel powerless, 
ask yourself, am I sticking up for myself? Now, again, this isn't about you getting angry with people or, you know, fighting or anything like that. It's about you understanding your personal reaction to something. Would you handle it differently if you didn't have something to lose? How would you handle it if you if it didn't matter to you whether you lost this or not? Because I feel like somehow or another you're saving something by by almost embracing it, I want to say. So if you've got someone bullying you and pushing you around, you know, sometimes you just have to call people's bluffs. And don't forget that it might be a manager or somebody that holds power over you where you feel if you speak up and say something, you're going to lose your job. And then that person knows that they have that power. And if they're a bully, they play with that power. Well, the same thing happens in relationships. If you're in a relationship with someone who's manipulative, controlling or bullying, then you ask yourself, and, and again, you know, you may not want to lose this person, but is this the relationship you really want? And if you stand up for yourself, does that mean you have, you know, a much better chance here of closing out some sort of cycle here and giving yourself a brand new chance at the relationship? And with these two cards here, you actually have quite a few major arcanas here, plus aces and tens, which is amazing. There's cycles closing out here. I just want to do the mini read, and I'm just going to get into this a little bit deeper because I feel like I'm really speaking to a lot of people here. But this is about recognizing something. You've come to some sort of realization here that you've been repeating something that you actually have the power over, but you're not really seeing it here. But the ten is coming. So we have the Ten of Swords. So it's some sort of repeating behavior that's quite negative, but you may have learned it. For example, if you were avoiding conflict, you would have become very, very good at that if you lived in a household that was less than perfect. You become very, very good at sneaking away when things get tough. Going under the radar is a really good one. It avoids any sort of pain, and you're definitely avoiding pain here. So there seems to be some sort of choice here with the lovers about either taking charge, taking your power back and moving into a brand new time. It's like something is going to finish out for you in order for a new start. And with it will bring this beautiful clarity here and this balance, this stability that you've been looking for. But mostly you're letting go of some sort of victim mentality, some sort of mentality, some sort of way you've been doing things that's created pain for you because you're closing that away and you have the victory card coming through, which means there's a really good resolution from this. So for those of you who are in work situations, if someone's bullying you at work and you're finding it really difficult to, cut, to get around, call their bluff, call their bluff. You know, decide whether it is worth doing that. What have you got to lose? very difficult really for somebody to sack you for sticking up for yourself but you can do it in a very healthy way that's why I said you don't have to react or respond in a negative way you can do that in a really healthy way call them call them say to them I feel you're bullying me and I don't want to put up with it anymore so is there any way we can work our way around this they won't like being called a bully but the fact you've called them on it might freak them out a little bit um and then, of course, once you've had that conversation, if they don't respond, you can always go over their heads then because you have had that conversation. Um, somebody was talking to me the other day about being bullied at work, a guy, and he was talking about how his bosses called him a princess if he got hurt or he had to take time off work for something. And I thought that is just the ultimate in bullying. So it's pretty disgusting, really, what people put up with. Something you're walking away from here, though, in order here to fight for what is right for you. So for some of you, this could be in relationship again. If this card represents the third ace in this reading. So you're definitely closing things out and moving forward without any doubt. But there's something you're fighting for here. So it's almost like you're walking away from something to stand your ground. So maybe you're in a relationship or a marriage where you need to now stand your ground and tell someone you're not going to put up with it anymore. But what I'm feeling here, and I just want to really get into the energies a little bit more. There's some sort of big transformation coming through for you. No matter how this situation sits with you, 
you're going through a huge transformation. And what I feel like here, because I had the tower jumping out so much, I feel like it's going to be a major epiphany moment. Knight of Swords coming through with the Nine of Swords and the Moon card. There is something being revealed to you here, but you're revealing it to yourself here. You're revealing it to yourself. You're seeing yourself in action. You see yourself doing something here. And I feel like it's got something to do with your emotions. Strongly now I've had the moon sign. I feel like somehow or another you're going to do something from your emotions and you're going to see something in action. Maybe you're going to back down on something. Maybe you're going to get upset about something and then realize that you've done something that you've been doing all the time and you realize something is very different to what you saw it. This is definitely with the Ace of Swords about being the observer, about watching your own reactions, watching your own emotions. Because something here is being shown to you in regards to that moon card. Yet, I feel like something is being shown to you so you can understand. There's a lot of cards around action, completion, new starts here. Whatever it is. It looks really awesome because it looks like you'll finally get a chance to see something you've been doing in a way that is not best for you. All right, what card should we pull out? Let's have a look at, oh my goodness, that, um, the Rebecca Campbell um, Work Your Light card. I pulled all new decks out and it takes me a little while to get used to the new energies with these. Right, Keepers of the Earth. Let's see how this works for you. And interesting because it's card 100 or page 100, which of course is one, which is a new start. So I like that already. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So maybe that's what's happening here. Your ancestors are showing you your patterns. You are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and an end of the earth, who are here to help you every step on, of the way. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work you have already done and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and they want to thank you for standing for them. Devote your life into protecting the earth in your unique way. It's time for you to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of abundance, financial abundance, acts of service from strangers or people flocking to help you in your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work you are doing. You do not need to do go it alone. So I'm wondering here if you are going to look for some support from someone in regards to a work or a relationship. I feel like some of you here may be dealing with um, bullying in a relationship. You may be dealing with someone who's sort of very difficult to negotiate with. But no matter what happens here, you're going to see it for yourself. You're going to see that whatever you're doing is perpetuating or making the situation more unbearable for you. All right, I'll leave you with that. Thank you.